everyone, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you everything my kids will be getting for Christmas this year. My kids have just got home, so it's the worst timing ever. Yeah, I can hear them screaming. They're with my husband, so don't worry. It looks like they're going to be going outside to play while I film this video. So um, hopefully you won't hear screaming kids in the background. I'm sorry if you do, but this is a video about kids' toys after all. So I hope you don't mind. But yeah, if you don't already know, I have a five-year-old son and a three-year-old daughter. So this is everything that they'll be getting from myself and my husband, as well as what Santa will be giving them for Christmas too. So there are a couple of things that they did ask for for this year. So um, I will show you if Santa is going to deliver this year. So the way I'm going to be showing you what my kids got for Christmas is showing you one thing that Christopher got and then one thing that Adriana got. Um, because I did try to kind of match them up with value, like price value and also the quantity um, of each of the gifts because they're so young they they do compete and they want the same things um, so I did want to make it as fair as possible um, for my kiddos so they're not fighting on Christmas morning because that won't be much fun so I hope you like this way of me showing you what um, we're giving them for Christmas this year. I'm also going to be giving you some extra ideas of what um, the grandparents are going to be giving the kids to at the end of the video. So make sure you stay tuned to see them because they are also going to be getting like a bigger gift. Um, I requested only one gift per grandparent this year um, because they just get way too much stuff. And as you can see, they're getting a whole lot from us as well. So they don't need a lot of little things. So I just requested one big thing for each grandparent and I'll show you what they got because it's a quality item um, that's something that you might be interested to. So stay tuned until the end of the video so you can see that part as well. So with all that said, let's get into what my kids are getting for Christmas this year. So the first thing they're getting is a book. I always give them a book for Christmas. Um, I think it's a great way to um, add to their collection. And they love these pug books or pig the pug book. Um, so they're each getting one of these. Um, yeah, so one of them is Pig the Winner. I actually picked these up from Audi. They were reduced to $4.99, which is really good because normally these books are $10 each. So basically I got one for free. Um, so yeah, there's Pig the Winner and there's Pig the Star. Adriana's getting the purple one just because she loves purple. And Christopher's getting the blue one just because he loves blue. So that's what they were getting. The next thing they're getting is some new watches this year. Now, um, Christopher is getting a smartwatch. And this is something he did ask for for Christmas this year. And it's more so because... Oops. It's more so because he's starting kindergarten this year and I want to keep track of where he is. So this smartwatch I actually got online um, and it does have a GPS with it as well so I can track um, where he is at all times. It also has all these great features too. So he can call, he can take photos, um, he can video chat, disable in class, SOS for help, HD color screen, alarm clock, precise positioning so that's the GPS part of it so I just open the box so you can see what it actually does look like um, so that's it there so very kid friendly with the colors and all that I'm sure he'll love the colors because blue is his favorite color um, yeah but you do pull this little thing down and that's the screen there um, but yeah, so he can call me, message me, um, I can track where he is at all times. And there's also like a little maths game on there as well. So really handy and something that I think he'll use for years to come. I do have to get like a little sim for it as well. So that's like an additional cost. But um, yeah, that just comes with having a smartphone, I suppose. So that's one of his bigger gifts that he's getting, or more expensive gifts. And then, of course, Adriana had to get a watch as well. She's actually asking for a watch too. Sorry, that was upside down. She's getting the Frozen watch. And this one's pretty special because it's like a projector. Um, so if you press the button on the side, it actually projectors, projects some photos from the Frozen movie. Like so. So really, really cool. Um, yeah, so that's it on the back. So I got this one online as well. Both of these were actually from eBay. Um, great deals. I think Christopher's watch was around 
$68, I want to say, and Adriana's was about $15, so a really good deal. Um, I know these don't match in price, but um, they're both watches and the kids won't know how much these cost, so I don't think they'll mind too much. The next thing I got for Christopher is these glow-in-the-dark stickers. He actually asked for these for his birthday last year. I couldn't find them anywhere. But then I just ran into them at my local like discount shop. So I got him two packs. So he has plenty to cover the ceiling. Um, yeah, so he's getting two packs of these. And for Miss Adriana, I'm just giving her like a little jewelry box. She actually desperately needs a new bigger jewelry box because she's got so much jewelry now and it's overflowing and getting out of control. So this is the one I went with. It's just a beautiful white one. Actually, this one's from Kmart, super affordable. And inside, um, there is just some little earrings there as well because she needs some new studs. So this is something I could probably give to her now because she doesn't really... Um, she didn't really ask for earrings, she actually just needs them. But I just thought I'll put them in the jewelry box as a nice little addition to her gift. So that's what they look like. And if you guys have a little girl and you they have their ears pierced and you want some cheap earrings that are going to kind of irritate their ears because these are sense for good for sensitive ears. Um actually just get these from Priceline um, and it's where the piercing section is. They have just a big section of just earrings that you can pick if you want to get ear pierced, ears pierced. You can buy them even if you don't need to get ears pierced. You can just buy them to have additional earrings and she always tends to lose hers for some reason but the backings of these ones are really really great. They're a lot stronger than the ones you'll get like at a jewelry shop so I really much prefer these ones. So yeah this is what her jewelry case looks like, her jewelry box. So it's got some sections there for rings and little bracelets and then it's got a bigger section there as well. The thing Christopher is getting is this Alight Force Lego pack or Lego figurine pack. He is obsessed with Legos at the moment and he loves playing with his little figurines here. He especially wanted the policeman which he does get in this pack so that's super cool. Um, so yeah, you get 20 characters in this and that's really awesome and I'm sure he'll have a lot of fun playing with this. To match up with that gift, Adriana will be getting this Shopkins doll. So just a little Shopkins doll that looks like this. She doesn't have any Shopkins, so this will be her very first one that she is getting. And this is the World Vacation one. So it comes like with a little suitcase and all that. So I'm sure she'll have a lot of fun playing with this. Okay, so the next thing they're getting is something Frozen related. So my son actually asked for a Kristoff doll. He's really into playing with Barbies and dolls with my daughter and, you know, just role playing with them basically. And yeah, so he is getting a Kristoff Barbie doll. So that's what that one looks like. Really, really cool. And my daughter already has the Anna and Elsa dolls. So instead of getting her the newer, like the Frozen 2 Anna and Elsa dolls, she's already got the Frozen 1, I went with this toddler version so um it still has the Elsa and Anna dolls with the new costumes but you also get Olaf um Kristoff and also Sven as well I'm sorry for that glare there um I might show you the back of it that's not much better is it <laughs> oh that's terrible sorry guys but yeah you get the idea of what it is so yeah, she's getting the big pack of this. I'm sure she'll have loads of fun. And the next thing my kids will be getting is a game to play with. Christopher is getting the bus stop game. He actually picked this one himself. It's from the Orchard Toys range, which I absolutely love. It's very, very educational and just fun in general. So this is what the game looks like on the back. So... Yeah, we haven't played this one before, but it looks super fun. You get little characters and little buses and the game board here. And yeah, I'm sure this is something we can do with the whole family and have loads of fun. And like I said, it is educational. It's got a fun introduction to addition and, sub and subtraction. So really cool. It's suitable for ages four and eight. So yeah, he's getting this game. And then Adriana is getting the Magical World Win Frozen 2 game. This one looks super fun and she doesn't have anything like it. Um, basically, you just put like little leaves and parts of Olaf in this tubey thing. And then once you turn it on, it flies it up in the air. You have to try and catch it with your net. 
So super cool. Again, something that the whole family can probably play with. It comes with three nets, three cards, nine olive pieces, nine sorry, 18 leaves, two snowflakes, and a sticker. So at the end, once you have found all of Olaf's um, bits and pieces, then you have to put him together. So really, really cool. And I'm sure we'll have lots of fun during the holiday period playing with this. Like I said, my son is really into Barbies and so is my daughter. So they're both getting a new Barbie. He really wants a new Ken. So this is the one he actually picked out himself ages ago. So I don't think he even remembers. This is just the fashion Easter doll. Um, it actually looks a bit like him with the dark hair, spiky dark hair. That glare is terrible. I'm sorry, guys. And then Adriana is just getting the ballet one. Um, purple. That looks like this. Um, she actually does ballet now. Like she takes ballet lessons. So I'm sure she'll love a little ballet Barbie as well. Okay, so the next thing they're getting is the zoo enclosure set. My kids already have the farm set that go with this. So I found this new one, which is the zoo enclosure. And they're actually going to get a bunch of new animals this year in their stocking. So this will be perfect to go in these zoo enclosures. And I've got two so they can expand and make it bigger because they have a lot of animals. So they probably will need a bigger one. So they're both getting one of these each. So this one is just like a little addition that I'm going to add to their gift. So Christopher's going to get this mini figure display case he's really into displaying things designing things um and all that so i thought this would be perfect so you can put his little lego creations in there and it's actually a glass case so really good to keep adriana's fingers out of it because she tends to come into his room and um yeah it gets into all of his stuff and that can get him quite mad sometimes so i thought this would be perfect because he can close it up put his creation in there and have it nice and secure and then change it up as he you know wishes to so yep he's getting one of these and for adrian she's getting this our generation accessory pack so this is just an extra outfit that she can add to her already doll that she's got so um this is like a ballet costume one i think yeah so like i said she's doing ballet this year um that she really really enjoys and this is what the outfits look like and you get the shoes and a little flower the crown the stockings the whole lot so really really cool so that's another thing she'll be getting this year the last thing that the kids will be getting from myself and my husband is this um backyard tennis so this is for my son christopher he has actually been asking for this since probably like last year and i just forgot to buy it for him there was a lot of other things that he wanted um that i guess took priority i don't know i just forgot to buy it for him and he's still asking for this so yeah this is something we can obviously do in the backyard um and this definitely brings back memories from when i was a little girl um i used to love playing with this so yeah he's getting one of these and miss adriana's not really into sports and all that so instead of getting her like an outdoor game to play with i just end up getting her this pets alive because she she is obsessed with any sort of animal um, and this one is very very interactive as well so you can brush the hair blow a kiss it falls asleep it lights up it makes magical sounds and songs it speaks and it repeats so really really cool and comes with the brush and the cage and all that so and the little carrots you can feed it so yeah i think she'll absolutely love playing with this so now we're moving on to santa gifts um, that the kids will be getting this year so the big thing that christopher is getting and something that he has been asking for is this food table so this is really cool it's a three-in-one tabletop game so you get the food table you get the ice not the ice hockey the air hockey and also the table um tennis is it table tennis yeah foosball ping pong table tennis and hockey so really really cool i'll show you what it looks like oh at the back because you can see the little kids playing with it that glare is horrible there we go um so that's what it looks like and he's gonna go nuts when he sees this because this is all he's been asking for um since his birthday really and yeah Santa's going to deliver and Miss Adriana is going to be getting this big Barbie set for her Santa gift this year so this is the babysitter set so it's got a little cot change table a little rocker a um, rocking horse some toys accessories and obviously the Barbie as well I'll show you the back of it there 
So yeah, I'm sure she's gonna love, love playing with this and having this um, part of her Barbie collection. Okay, the last gift Santa will be giving the kids this year. Christopher actually asked for motorbikes or dirt bikes, but toy versions. So Santa's going to deliver with two of them. So he's getting the orange one and the yellow one. He's going to love this because he's really into dirt bikes and all that this year. So he will be in two of these to play with and to add to his collection. And Miss Adriana actually asked for a rainbow cat. Now, I'm hoping Santa will deliver with this box here. So he's going to be gifting her the Scruffalove. Um, and you can either get a cat, a doll, or a llama from this. It is a rainbow, but whether she gets a cat is anyone's guess because you don't know what you're going to get. I'm praying, guys, this is a cat inside the box. Otherwise, I'll have to be buying boxes of these until she gets the cat because she really, really wants the cat. So, fingers crossed for me that she does get the cat in here. Um, but either way, I'm sure she'll love it. So, basically, what this is is when you open it, it's just like a ball of fluff and you've got to pop it in water and it reveals what kind of animal it is. You can brush it, you can care for it. It comes with a collar and all that fun stuff. So it's a really cute toy. And it's like a little collectible too because you can obviously collect all three animals. And yeah, I'm just praying there is a little kitty cat in here. And so this year we also gave the kids a combined gift to share. Um, we were actually going to get them like a really big inflatable um water slide thing i'll insert a picture so you can see what it looks like but we're in really tight water restrictions here in new south wales so um we actually we can buy it but there's no point buying it because we won't be able to use it um, because we can't keep running water on the hose um, it's part of the water restrictions at the moment so we couldn't go ahead with that gift so i just got them some little things but then we also booked a holiday so I'll tell you about that in one second. Um, but firstly, the combined gift is this art set. My kids love drawing, being creative and all that. This is just the Corolla art case. And it comes with 64 crayons, 20 pencils, 40 markers, 15 sheets. And obviously in this big case here, that's what it looks like in the back. So they can both share this together. And I just added this watercolor paper pad to go with that as well um just because they just need an extra um pad to do their craft and arts in and one additional thing uh, again i bought this before the water restrictions were put into place but we can just keep this aside and they can use it for when the re water restrictions are lifted but this is the rainbow water sprinkle which is really really cool it is summer here in australia so this is perfect but like I said, we do have water restrictions right now, so we can't actually use this. But hopefully soon, once we get some rain. But yeah, like I said, my husband and I decided to actually book a holiday. This was very, very last minute. It was five days before we leave. Um, we are leaving in a couple of days now by the time I'm feeling, filming this video. And by the time you watch this, we might have already left. Um, and yeah, we are going to Melbourne, Australia. So I'm so excited to actually bring the kids. I've been one other time to Melbourne. So, um, if you don't know, I live in New South Wales. So Melbourne, so Melbourne is another state. Um, it's about a 10 and a half hour drive. So we are going to be driving there. We can fly there, but it is so expensive to book flights right now. Last minute, the flight um, prices just go up through the roof. And yeah, it's just way too expensive. So we're going to be driving there. We don't mind driving. My husband loves driving and road trips and all that. So I'm just praying my kids behave themselves in the car. We're going to be going through the night. So hopefully they will sleep for most of the trip. But yeah, my kids have never been to Melbourne. My husband and I went years ago when we were still dating. And that was basically just for a wedding. Um, so we didn't really have enough time to do like all the touristy things and look around. Um, but now that we have kids, there's so much for kids to do. Like the zoo, um, there's Legoland, there's a museums and so many fun things for them to do. So I'm so excited. We're going for five nights and I haven't told the kids it's going to be like an extra surprise on Christmas morning and we'll be leaving that night. So they're going to be told on the day we're leaving. 
So yeah, I'm so, so excited. And so that is their big surprise. So before the end of this video, I did say that I'll let you know what the grandparents will be getting my kids for Christmas. So Christopher will be getting this big globe and I'll insert a photo here. So this is the leapfrog globe and yeah, he's wanted a globe for a very long time. He's really into learning about the world and different countries and all that sort of thing. So it's an interactive globe. So it actually gives you information about each of the countries, depending on where you point the little pen that comes with it. So it's super, super cool and something that I'm sure he'll get loads of, um, you know, hours out of and loads of information from as well. Very, very educational. And Adrian will be getting a big aeroplane, but the aeroplane so I'll insert a photo here um yeah she's gonna go ballistic when she sees this it's very very big so i'm hoping i can find a spot for it somewhere now in her bedroom but yeah just a super cool plane it's got all the little gadgets you can open the the compartments and all that fun stuff so yeah super cool another gift that crystal will be getting from my from my actual mum, so that was from my mother-in-law but my actual mum will be getting christopher this police set so really cool he's obsessed with police and um garages and things like that so when i saw this i'm like this is perfect for christopher uh, and i gave her the idea to get this for christmas um, it comes with all the little cars and helicopters and all that fun stuff. So I'm sure he'll have a blast playing with that. And Adrian is going to be getting the, I think it's called the care van it's again the barbie range um it's like a little um ambulance and it opens up like in like a doctor office she's been saying to me that she wants to be a doctor when she grows up so this is perfect for her and she's also going to be buying her an extra like dr barbie to go with it so she can role play and do all that fun stuff but yeah they're my extra gifts if you're looking for a bigger gift to get a child then definitely look at those options as well and that is the end of my video i hope you have enjoyed watching got some inspiration i don't know if this video is going to go out before christmas i'm hoping it will but i have but i can't promise because i've got so much going on right now and i've got a couple of videos that i need to edit so fingers crossed if it doesn't i hope it still gives you some inspiration for, for presents if you have any birthdays coming up as well they're all great gifts and i'm sure any child will be more than happy to receive these so I need to get wrapping, I need to wrap all these gifts up and get them ready to go under the tree because I have no time, I have to pass for our trip and ah, I'm just so excited. Alright guys, I'll see you in my next video, I hope you all have a lovely Christmas, stay safe, be merry, have fun, show the love and yeah, I'll see you in my next one. Bye!